so guys you can see the led is blinking this is our pic 12 f675 microcontroller this is picket 3 wirings are as shown in the video and this is the led connected to gp5 pin see that it is working as described Hello guys, welcome to learning microcontrollers. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can blink an LED with a PIC12 F675. So let's get started. So guys, this is our PIC12 F675 microcontroller having 8 spin. It's a TIP version and this is our LED 5mm crystal type. So guys, let's connect it with a PIC. So as you know, each LED has two pin, one longer, one shorter. Longer is the power pin, shorter is the ground pin and you cannot shuffle these two pins. Longer is always the power, shorter is always the ground. Now to connect it with a pick, you will need a 220 ohm resistor. A 220 is an ideal value. You can use a higher value as well like 500, 330 ohm. This is basically a safety resistor. So uh, the higher the value you select, the dimmer the LED will go. So select an appropriate value. So 220 is an ideal. So guys, first of all, connect ground pin of your LED with the ground of your pick. That is pin number 8 of your pick 12 F675. Then uh, the power pin of the LED will go to the one end of the 220 ohm resistor like this. Then from the other end of the 220 ohm resistor, you can connect it to any available GPIO or digital input output pin. I'm going to use a pin number G5 like this. In this way, our LED is connected. Now let's get to the programming and make it blink. So guys, this is our micro C for pick. I'm going to use a version 7.2.0. You can use a higher version as well. They are available in the market. And uh, go to file, new, new project. The new project wizard will pop up. Click on next. Write the name of the project. Pick 12 F675 LED blinking learning microcontroller. This is the name of the project I just wrote. This is the path where I will store the code. This is the device I'm going to use. And the crystal we are going to use is 4 megahertz and that is the internal clock. We are not going to use external clock. So click on next finish. So before you do anything else, press control S to save your work like this. Now guys, first of all, we will go to here project. And in the project, there you have this edit project. Click on it. This window pops up. First of all, select the internal oscillator like this. Now you have internal oscillators here. You have to, uh, if you want to use external oscillator, then you will use the external crystal here and you will connect the crystal on pin number two and three. Uh, for any oscillator type you want to select, you have these options. So these two are the for the internal oscillator. You select the internal oscillator like this, then click on OK. Now the internal oscillator has been selected. Now declare the pin, Tris IO, uh, input output pin. dot f5 equals to 0 trace io means input output pins we have like uh, six pins here so f5 means the gp5 pin so gp5 pin is the trace io f5 and now this is in case of arduino it is like pin mode output so zero means it's an output pin if one it means an input pin so for the led we need an output so this is our led pin now the initial state of this pin must be for that write down gpio dot f5 equals to 0 this means that the gp5 pin is now turned to be and uh, by a default state in the, in initially the led must be off zero like in case of arduino you write digital write low or high in case of pick you use this command for this microcontroller gpio dot f5 f5 is the pin gpio is a number is a, is a command name register name and zero means it's low and if it was one it is high so initially the LED at pin 5 is low, give some initialization delay. This is not necessary this delay but I suggest you give it. Now we go to our forever loop, starts from here and here. Now inside the forever loop we will only write a blinking code. So this pin which is low by default, paste it two times. Now copy the delay. Now it will turn on and then for how long it should remain on, I make it like uh, 300 for 300 millisecond it remains all on okay make it 200 then for how long it should remain off i make it 200 as well now for 200 millisecond it will turn on and for 200 millisecond it will remain off i build the code the code is built now i zoom out 
and write this code using this pick at three programming tool. This one. Uh, select the pick, pick to lab 675, go to file, import hex file. This is the file. Now you click on write. Okay, pick it got disconnected. Check communication. Again, select the file. Click on write. Okay, it's programming. Okay, it's written. Now we go to the hardware. So guys, this is the hardware we have here. You can see that this is the LED, LED right here. And this is PIC 12 F675 in the back and this is PIC 3. And connections are as shown in the presentation. I just made the circuit on the barrel board. So I turn it on, power it up using this PIC 3 programming tool. See, the LED is blinking with 200 millisecond delay. See that we change the delay now. We make it like 500. So now the blinking will slow down. Now it's 500 delay. Build it. Go to the hardware. Let me zoom out. See that it's blinking at this speed, 200 millisecond delay. Now I'm going to change it. I click on write. So the new code is written. It's already selected. Okay, the new code is written. Now see it's longer. Now it's a 500 millisecond delay. Now what I do is that I again change the delay. I make it faster by making it just 50. Now it will be very fast. Let's build this. Write the code again. Go to the hardware. See now it's very fast because it's just a 50 millisecond delay. So guys, this is it. This is how you can blink an LED on the pin number GP5 with a PIC12 F675 microcontroller using Micro C for PIC programming. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment. And for the MCLR, I'm using a resistor. It is hardwired. So guys, thank you very much for your time and have a nice day.